Welcome Clashers one and all to Clash of Clans Attacks. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me as today we delve into Golaloon. Yes, the Clan War 3 star strategy with golems, lava hounds, and balloons most frequently used at Town Hall 9. And that is exactly what we will focus on beginning today with an attack from Mona of LP3 Chiron going up against this pretty well designed, pretty well upgraded Town Hall 9, and you'll notice right away she has identified some major structures. These have a lot of hit points out here on the left unprotected, and while that might slow down an attack or separate golems from wizards, wisely she used the wizards first to get those structures down before she sends in the three golem kill squad. So in each of today's attacks we will be looking at a different number of golems but the beginning of each attack is pretty similar in that the goal is to get the Archer Queen down, two of the air defenses if possible, and of course the Clan Castle. So that is where each player is going to tailor their approach to make sure that they can get those four things out of the way. And anything else, just bonus, the Barbarian King is going to move in, grab a couple of Teslas along with those Golems as the Archer Queen is going to take down that air defense and the Lava Hound eventually. Now with three Golems in action, rather than just one or two, you're hoping hoping that those golems can keep those interior defenses occupied as the air portion of this attack begins. When the balloons, the lava hounds move in as they will in just a few seconds, the expos hopefully will be focused on those larger units, the golems, and then eventually the lava hounds, allowing the balloons time to get those defensive structures down around the outside. There goes the second lava hound, the first one streaking across the base, going for that other air defense, and now the balloons getting a chance to go to work under haste, under rage. Mona having brought three haste spells and two rage spells, now deploying the balloons and being very careful as to deploy just a few knowing that each balloon is going to target a different defense as she works her way counterclockwise around the base. You can see the big primary group of balloons is in the core. It is cleared out. They're going for the air sweeper. The last air defense just about to fall. And really right here, the last rage spell perfectly placed. And the very last balloons moving in, they're going to backdoor that wizard tower. And that is going to be the last defensive structure to fall. And as it does, that is it. Mona pretty much icing a three-star win right here. It's just a matter of cleanup as the units finish their way around. The Lava Hounds did their job and the Lava Pups are going to help finish things off as well as the Archer Queen. So those three golems and the early air deployment while the Queen was still up definitely make a big difference in the end as she helps grab that third star. For our next Golaloon raid, we move on to Full Attack and John, and he has brought a pair of golems this time one in the clan castle and again notice as the base is laid out the four keys the archer queen the two air defenses and of course activating the clan castle which usually can happen from just about any angle so again john dropping the jump spell focused on funneling those units he's got the wizards out there making sure those surrounding structures are down first so that the heroes and another pair of wizards will move right in and just crush the archer queen one air defense already down that top left air defense is the goal along with the clan castle troops before the air phase begins twin poison spells right on top of the balloons and the dragon there goes the iron fist and the queen is going to head in the general direction of the air defense after those last clan castle troops go down there she goes she's going to work on a tesla and finish off the second air defense and that is the green light for the air phase with only two golems in the kill squad portion of this attack, you're much less likely to have them up as the air phase begins, or the heroes you can see John only left with the lava hounds and balloons and the lava pups to take out the rest of this village, and just three rage spells, no haste, but those balloons laser focused getting right into the core, the expos fall quickly, and before you know it, only a pair of wizard towers stand between John and a three star win. Under Rage, that big group of balloons at the bottom is going to grab that wizard tower. At the top of the screen, the last cannon falls, and as it does, watch the other balloons take a detour, go right after the town hall into cleanup phase. Now, of course, with so few units left because of the small kill squad, you can see that John is really counting on those lava pups to work overtime as they do. And there's a wizard, a couple of archers on the far right, and they're going to get the job done. The Barbarian King, he doesn't know what hit him. He is going to be standing around a village that is completely destroyed as John wraps up another three-star Golaloon raid. So we've seen Golaloon with three golems, with two golems, and now back to LP6 Minotaur for a Golaloon raid with just one golem. 
Now, while this is number one facing number one in this clan war, maybe it was the lack of higher level heroes or the lower level defenses, Nate decided, I don't need a clan castle, I'll go in without it, just one golem, Golaloon, and again from the left hand side. But as you can see, two of those four air defenses are way out here on the left. So Nate, knowing if he can funnel these troops into this one enclosure right here, that the Archer Queen, even if he doesn't get deeper into the space, she alone should be able to take out both of those air defenses and the rest of the ground units and the wizards deal with the clan castle that has come out and there are the twin poison spells a jump spell just in case and sure enough the queen is starting to go a little bit rogue we're going to have to count on the barbarian king to get the job done he goes left, he gets down the first air defense, and the queen, she's way off, and somehow a wizard gets the other air defense down without the help of the archer queen. She wanders off, but even with a solitary golem in this raid, Nate is going to have the archer queen up for the rest of the raid. A lot of that has to do, of course, with the grounded expos. But also, if you look at the way he deployed, he came from behind the Archer Queen, and that's going to help preserve her right there. She's about one shot from going down, hits her Royal Cloak, and goes on. And by now, the balloons have either distracted or more likely taken out all of the defenses in the area. So the Archer Queen, really the only thing that could stop her now would be to step on a bomb. The balloons getting the job done. There goes the last rage spell. The last lava hound goes down into pups. Again, critical to get those lava pups working on cleanup. But a big mistake right here for any Town Hall 9 base design, setting your expos to ground pretty much unheard of from a well-designed clan war base. The Archer Queen, here she comes. Looks like she's going to face the Barbarian King. Surely he will take her out, but no. Of course, the ranged action gets him out of the way, and she continues on her merry way around this base. The balloons and lava pups are going to clear out the core, and that is a pretty heroic Archer Queen. I'm going to put her up there. She made up for the mistake she made early. Well, okay, Nate's mistake by getting her not funneled in. But in any case, maybe he meant to do this. I don't know. Look at that Archer Queen, level 15. She is going to help clean up the last structures and wrap up a solid three-star win despite the fringe Tricky Builders Huts. Plenty of time, plenty of units, and that's going to wrap up another three-star for LP6 Minotaur and X Country Nate. So Go Laloon, a very flexible strategy and effective at Town Hall 9, can be used with three, two, or just one golem as you saw there. But the kill squad keys are always two air defenses, the Archer Queen and the Clan Castle. So let me know what you guys would like to see from a future video. Check out the YouTuber Clash Royale tournament, subscribe for the earliest possible update and sneak peek information, and I hope to see all of you back here tomorrow for more full attacks. Gallidon, I have something very important to say.